That's pretty intense. But you started it after the big sweep. So, oh. All right. All right, so we've already done hardware set up. We got our stations set up, and I think we have them synced, and everything is connected to the link box to the computer. We've already got Steam, so we're going to go into the software side, and we're going to try running, uh, launching Steam VR. Let's... Oh, look, my little button is there now. It wasn't there before, so we will click that. Preparing to launch Steam VR. And I'll turn... Oh, wait, no, no, the sound is going to come through there now. I think there's a way you can go into the settings somewhere in here. Oh, that light is now green. There's now a green LED on there. It was red. And I can actually see white in the lenses. I don't know if that comes through on the camera. Could not start open VR tool something error we're off to a good start guys all right continue oh continue all right okay room is not set up well that's what we're going to be doing please run room setup to begin using steam VR run room setup could not start right. oh it's already running that oh, okay set up room scale is there a way to make this larger no Room scale. Play room scale, yes. Alright, make some space. We have done that. Establish tracking. Headset ready. Alright, now we need to do the controllers. Oh yeah, we never did sync these. Did we? No, I think we're waiting to actually turn on the thing. Alright, I think you turn them on by pushing the top button. No, the, 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 the bottom? system button. Alright, push. Oh, it vibrated and made noise. It's got a green LED, and it says controller ready, and then let's see if we can hear it on here. Alright, that one is blue, and it doesn't say controller ready yet. Let's give it a sec. Picking it up. So, how was your day? Cameraman's camera don't talk. Oh man. Oh, you okay. just did. I was doing a bad job. <clears throat> huh. Oh! Well, it just turned off. Let's try it again. Come on in! I was like, I don't know what you're But you are on camera now. Oh, fine. Oh, is that the orange stuff? Well, yeah. you walked. See, she doomed it. You brought bad luck. We've got a green light here, but not a green light there. And green you, means go. Green means go, and we've got two. I'll take a Henry's hard soda. We've got a blue, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Are they twist on? I guess we'll go ahead and just uh, pause the video. Okay. All right, so we did some googling, went in doubt Google, and we have got both of the controllers now paired. You can oh. see the green LEDs on both. And what we did was, upon googling and going to Reddit. Uh, this thing pops up when you turn the Steam VR on, and these both, or well, one was working, this one was gray, so I right clicked on that, and it pops up. Well, it has more features now, but before it, it only had one saying uh, to sync controller or pair controller or something like that. So you push that, and it pops up with a prompt right here saying to hold both the menu and system button. We did that, and within seconds, it did the little ding noise and everything, and now we're at this point. So Vive controller paired. Is now ready, done. Alright, so let's bring this back up. Not visible. Alright, both are now visible. Next, locate your monitor, stand in the middle of your clear space, point your controller at your monitor, and pull the trigger with your index finger to continue. This information will be used to orientate the overhead view in a later step. Doesn't say which controller. That one. No, the other one. No, that one. Which one? Pick that one right there. That the one? Blue, the blue one. The one that's that one. right there. All right, we'll use the one that's in the sunlight. It's getting all hot. All right, so it doesn't say how far to stand. Let's look at the picture. It looks like he's a few feet. So point it at the screen, pull and hold. Ooh, it's vibrating. Ooh. And it did a bar, it charged the bar, and now the next is available. All right, next. Locate the floor. Place both controllers on the floor and visible to the base stations, then click the calibrate floor button and wait while the calibration stuff does it. Gravity check. Alright, so this is our floor, roughly. Ow, that sun is bright. In the middle of the floor. Next. 
Is that it? Done. That was like super fast. It didn't even do the bar or anything. All right. Next little measure your available space. This space should be free of any obstacles that you may collide with while wearing the headset. Trace your space. Hold the trigger as you trace the outer perimeter of your available space with the tip of the controller. The area traced should be empty from the floor. All right, I'm going to do the advanced mode. Ooh. We're not new. This is the one that lets you click the trigger at each corner. Oh, no, I don't want that one. much space, though. It's actually kind of opposite. There's two modes. There's one where you take it and you click it in four different locations, and then it auto draws the lines. That's actually considered the advanced mode. I figured this one would be the advanced. This is where you actually do draw it, because I'm going to actually draw it. Oh, hey, look, it's moving on the screen. And here, yeah, you can as can see, um, get a zoom in, actually shows me moving the controller. Well, move it over. Oh, so that's where the monitor, is that where it's showing the monitor? Or is that, oh, that's the base station. It's showing that's yeah. the base station. All right, that's cool. Showing, yeah, but it's not showing the other, but it is showing a weird interference. That's crazy, though. All right, so I do. <laughs> Hold the trigger as you trace. All right, we'll just start right here. The advanced mode is probably nicer because that looks like a terrible line. <laughs> You're not good at drawing. <laughs> and it decided you were done. <laughs> yeah, that I, and you're missing mode. this part. <laughs> uh, let's see if I hold the trigger, does it restart it? All right, we'll just nope. go back then. All right, next. Nope. You oh, can never change it again. <laughs> oh, clear. The only there's space there so there's clear. All right, let's do the advanced one then. We will click. Click the trigger at each corner. Doesn't show it moving the controller now. Yeah, everything's coming out. Maybe it won't until you do all four corners. You get it. Oh, now. everything turned off. We'll turn it back on. Yeah. Don't have Click. There's a dot. Click. You have a line. There's a dot. Click. There's a dot. And we're done already. And. <laughs> Click. There's a dot. <laughs> See, so it auto does it. So that's my space. So I've got roughly there, there. That is not six and a half feet, which is what they suggest, but we will make do. Might be. Next. Ah, see, it's saying that we suck. So we need to make it a little bit larger that way. All right. Why don't I just have that as a, this is the minimum space, and then you do your lines? Let's go. Showing it on there? Yeah. Yep. That's a dot. Did it do a dot? No. Yeah. Uh, no. I think you're too far away from a thing. I'll stand on this side. Yeah. There you go. I felt yep. a vibrate. It's definitely a line. Still picking it up? Yeah. 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 I felt a vibrate. Okay. Okay. Does it just me or does that look smaller than the last one? No, that's, no that's bigger. Yeah. Oh, come on! Scoot <laughs> that over! Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> just do it on the. Just do it closer to the other side of your desk. Yeah. Yeah, like there. Third time's a charm. Good. It's a better line than the first one. Oh, getting bigger it's and more, bigger. It's more squarish than it. No, 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 do, do it more towards this one. <laughs> a little bit more. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh, oh, we just did like a weird, <laughs> it's no longer a rectangle. Why not? Now we've got five sides. Let's see. Yeah, green! Green means go. All right, play area size. Oh, why is it in meters? I'm American. Come on. <laughs> Setup complete. You have successfully completed the room setup and your configuration has been saved. When you're ready, click the next button to proceed to the Steam VR tutorial. And blue screen of death. Oh. Huh. It's actually coming through on both. That's really oh I thought it was about I was about to be like, that's really loud for the uh those headphones. Oh. 
<laughs> Maybe they are good. Maybe they are. Instead of a bat, I just hate that kind of air bud. Yeah, nothing's coming through on here. Make sure your sound is good. And honestly, I kind of wanted everybody to be able to hear that. Make sure your sound is working. If, your head, if you have headphones, it's not coming in. out. If you don't hear the sound, you may need to adjust your audio settings. Yeah, maybe the audio settings so. They're at 100. All right, base station lost optical sync. Oh, that's because your controller turned off. Or maybe the um, headset's, headset's off. off. No, headset's got a green. Hmm. There's the controller, and it's now connected. Oh yeah, because we didn't turn that one back on. Mm -hmm. We need that controller to be able to hear. We need a cup holder so we can hear. <laughs> Makes sense. Playback, HTC Vive. Well, I've got HTC Vive Dash 4 as the default device. Let me know if you want me to keep recording. Well, let's just progress. Without hearing. All right, put on your headset and headphones now. Put on the headset for the front first, like a pair of goggles. Adjust top straps to comfortably secure. Don't All right. about that mom. I did mess with it a bit, Here so the lenses the are not exactly right, where so. they were factory settings. Oh! Whoa. Oh. All right, this is cool. Tighten your strap. It's everything I wanted it to be. Uh -huh. All right, I know what you want it to be. You can see it. How cool. Is it showing it on the... Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Is there a mouse in the middle of your screen? <laughs> what? Is there a mouse <laughs> in the middle of your screen? No. I guess I'll move that then. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You tighten up your straps because it looks a little loose. Here, Ziggy. Get off your butt. Whoa! What 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 happened? Did you turn something you're in the Oh, you're sitting in the uh, sensors. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. You can see like a grid. Okay. So. All right. Uh, make this. Give some slack up here so I can pull it down lower on the back part of my head. There's a pizza box underneath the couch. Mm. Grab it with your controller. Alright, uh, just about how low you want. Uh, that's, I guess that's good enough. Alright. So, you need to crouch? No, I know you're it. tall, but... Yeah. No, it's just I'm awkward exactly how it is. It's like right under the cords, so it's uh -huh. Velcro and under the cords, so it's like, hey, let's be awkward. Is that... Good. Yeah, feels right. good. Are there uh, adjustments yeah, there's on here? Si yeah, there's side straps too. Alright, let's just, whoa. Yeah. Let's tighten. Sure. Let's just tighten this. I want to lose, whoa, maybe not that tight, maybe a little. Alright, All right, that's yeah. good. That's good. Grab the piece of circulation. Uh, grab, yeah, make sure to. Tighter. Uh, slightly loose. Slightly loose. That's perfect. Right there, okay. How's that? Alright. I mean, I can definitely feel this. You can see why some people have a uh, thing that holds it up. All right, hand me a control. Nope, you get it yourself. Yeah, you gotta get it yourself. <laughs> Look oh. down, why don't you? <laughs> that one's she that. that? Yeah. What the freak is that? Do you guys see that? Yeah, oh, I do. Be your trash can. You see that, right? Yeah, it's PVC looking thing. It's right. Oh, yeah. oh found oh, it. Is the controller off? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Oh, it must not have been in the. All right. Feel. Wow. I'm in the floor right now. Do you guys see that? Jump. <laughs> I was hoping you would hit your head. There's <laughs> not a fan up there. All right. Is that where my sensor is? That's no. where a fan is in real life. <laughs> well, it shows the sensor. You guys see the screen, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. But there's not one over there. No. So you oh, holy frickin' crap! <laughs> what is going on? I think, uh, I think you're supposed to be in the floor. Maybe? I didn't realize it was Transformers. Huh. I bet I got VR mouth going on. Yeah, it's just always open. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 
Just keep an eye on my feet, make sure I don't get too tangled up. Welcome to virtual reality, or VR. I am the virtual reality assistance and education for Halo. Yeah, he is. He must surrender the concept. Show you how everything works. It was a girl, rude, though. man. Come on, just look at him. He's oh, sorry, sorry. Have a look around you. See? The orange border <laughs> in which you're standing is called the play area. The boundaries of your play area were defined during setup, and VR experiences will take this place take a long time within to build it. Trust. Careful. Now, uh -huh. I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone <laughs> boundaries. Yeah. Oh, maybe kind of cheated with the play area. And stop when you see a colored fence appeared in the air in front of you. Good. These are your chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you approach the edge of your physical space to help you avoid bumping into objects in the real world. Oh, <laughs> a little closer, you head. <laughs> Which side? Oh, see about adjusting uh, the eye thing. See if you can make it any more now, better. Slowly toward me. More on this side. I can feel the the sun. Yeah. <laughs> you may turn this put it down. Take a uh, step by step back, just until the chaperone bounds disappear. Perfect. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. Go ahead, uh, move them around. That is really Wave cool, them though. In front no. of your face. Make sure like you put your Wii remote things on. Uh, uh, your yeah, screen in there, too, so you can see what he's doing. Uh, let's go yeah. through each of the controller buttons. Oh, that's cool. Well, on maybe the it's, other it's just side the setup, of the controller so people is a trigger right. button. Well, Give that's... that a squeeze. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is tricky. Oh, you can Let's just turn that off. No, <laughs> don't. Next, are the grip buttons located on either side of the controller. Press one of them. Grip buttons. <laughs> this is so cool. The large circle on the controller is the trackpad. It should be beneath your tricky. thumb. Slide your thumb around the trackpad. Notice that it shows you where you are touching the pad. The trackpad is also a button. Press in on the trackpad now. Oh, I wonder where that was. Oh, what I hit? What I hit? <laughs> that would be the fan. You totally forget anything is around you. It is, it is wow, I really forgot there was a fan. Yeah. The damage? No, you're clear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, the balloon. <laughs> Press what? One. Whatever that oh, is. Oh, oh, gosh. You, you, you oh, could. Mm. Uh, try another. Uh, one more, please. The blue. Well, it's not blue. Oh, this is turning into quite yeah, a party. Yeah, yeah. I don't Next, want to go too high. Look at your control <laughs> Shoot it. and find the menu. He disabled it. As you may oh, be able to thing. many Betty. VR experiences. Mm -hmm. He didn't say I'm disabling that. Do the confetti menu. again. Press it now. Do the confetti. Oh, some nice variety there. Why not try one? Whoa. Well chosen. Now, find and press the system button. Which will summon the Steam VR dashboard. Here Ooh. it is, the Steam VR dashboard. Note that most VR experiences will pause while the dashboard is on screen. Oh, jeez! <laughs> there was only zombies. But you laughed. System button again. Go ahead and close the dashboard. Well, I believe that's everything you need to know. Oh, wait, go back. I wasn't paying attention. Play <laughs> for as long as you like. Whenever you're finished, open the dashboard and start exploring. 
Definitely you do that. Turn the lasers back on. Practice in my latest lecture. The unabridged test accountancy filing methods. I need to fetch my notes. Uh oh. My battery is dead. They're gonna catch you. crazy yeah you truly forget that that fan was there like i totally just nrl in it nrl probably have to do a little bit of adjustment with our floor setup i'm sure you can readjust that but this is pretty cool i am impressed all right get the pizza box well uh it's gone Marie, okay i heard your voice yep um i guess we can stop recording there and uh, i guess the next recordings will be you guys playing <laughs>